Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. Yes, honey, I am putting in that work for you guys. Now, there are two things that caught my eyes at this hour. Yes, honey. And that is a post that Kim made on her Instagram page where she says that, um, I think it says she's not a lawyer, but she knows a little. It's like a um, artwork. Seems as though it's a gift from someone, but we know she has been trolling heavily. And I think that she's not trolling just, um, you know, Ye and Bianca. I think she's also trolling Bianca's family as well. Um, also, there's a report that is coming out from the sun. And it is talking about his wife, Bianca Sensori, coming from a long lineage of gangsters, including her dad being classified as a criminal and an heroin dealing uncle. Let's talk about it because I don't know why the son is doing this now, but I guess um, they're watching, they're observing what we're doing here as content creators. And also we know that there are other powers that be that uses the media. So we want to see how they spread the story in the coming days, because once the sun has it, we know it's going to be daily mail. We know it's going to be page six. So I want to see what happens with this report now that they're coming out with it. It's not as though these reports were hidden, um, but it's just that it takes a little work for you to find most of it. And know that the US media has tapped into it with their unprofessional level of journalism. I believe that they may use it to, tr to try and, you know, ruin Bianca's reputation a little. But if they do that, they may have legal wranglings with Leo because Leo doesn't play, honey. No, what I hate is the fact that when they spoke about Bianca's dad, they were so fixated on the negatives. They couldn't talk about the positives of Leo, you know, back in the days, running all those gambling houses in Australia and Italy managing everyone's money like leo is so damn good at finances he's even better than a forensic accountant like they could not let me tell you something i believe that someone needs to make a movie on leo and how he manages finances like when it comes to accounting and finances, if I hear about someone that is so good with accounts, finances, like I am invested in this person, I'm obsessed with this person, I want to know more about this person. And when I tell you that Bianca's dad is darn good at finances, after all, um, he's an accountant for a entertainment firm in... Um, Australia, I think it has to do with amusement and entertainment, and he's really, really good. He has been there for over 10 years. What I tell you that, if you want to get your business right, if you want to get your finances right, honey, if somebody's taking away your money and you want to get that money back, check Leo. He's the man for the job. But let's talk about this report, because the son is playing games, and we're going to talk about it. Now, they're saying that um, a new report suggests Bianca Sensori comes from a long line of made men. Why not give us content creators credit? Because you all know you got it from us here on YouTube, right? Tissa Tells first did that video. One of my subscribers gave me the heads up. I found the article. Days before I found that article, I found another article about Bianca's family history with some things that Bianca, you know, was really interested in. And I found some amazing, beautiful stories about her family. 
So why, instead of saying it's been reported, why not give content creators on YouTube the credit? Because y'all know that's where you all took it from. Be respectful to our craft, okay? Because we're damn good at what we do here. And I believe Tissa may be the first one to come with that on YouTube. Because I didn't see it before her on YouTube, right? So that is really triggering me right there, not giving someone credit for their work. But let's continue. No, they're saying Bianca's father, Elia Leo Sensori, was sent to prison in 1982 on a charge of possession of heroin. The Australian Daily Mail reports he was sentenced to five years in prison. Meanwhile, the site reports Bianca's uncle Eric Sensori is a notorious gangland killer, once dubbed Melbourne's AI Capone. Now, let's pause a bit because I know that some people may say, oh, why give content creative um, credit when it was in the Australian Daily Mail? There are reports of Bianca's family for years and years and years and years and years going back by the Australian um, daily Mail report, The Herald, and we have never seen anyone spoken about it until recently. So we know that these people got it from here, YouTube. So they need to be respectful. Just wanted to make that known. Because if we get something from the sun, we say it's the sun. If it's the daily mail, we say it's the daily mail. If it's page six, we say it's page six. So they need to be respectful to content creators on YouTube in return. It's only fair. Well, let's continue. They're saying, while her eldest brother, Edmondo, has been arrested several times for assaulting police officers, theft, and making threats across Australia. Let's pause here for a bit because I read a few articles and the story of Edmondo is a bit different from what I've heard, uh, from what is being reported here. Now, what they believe is that Edmondo is doing something illegal and Edmondo is mischievous. So what they do is to target this man based on a few articles that I've read. They suspect him of being involved. They have no evidence. Stop, search, and a tussle will happen between him and the police. So it's not as though what they're saying here from the sun is actually how it is as per the research that I've done. Because when I tell you guys, there are a lot of reports. They, there are a lot of reports. And if this family was weak, Edmundo would either be behind bars or else we're read between the lines. I don't even want to see it because they've been targeting, targeting him a lot, irrespective of the fact that there's really nothing on him. And when it comes to a sensory, there's really nothing on them, right? Let's talk about it because they really aren't reporting much here. They're just saying that Kanye um, and Bianca, they live a low-key life since their surprise marriage in January. However, just days ago, the rapper gave her some responsibilities and she is going to get some more responsibilities in the future to come. We know that's going to happen, right? Now, a part that grabbed my attention was the fact that the son is saying, um, you know, with his career in tatters, he's been trying to keep his easy clothing and shoes line alive while also fighting a number of lawsuits from former associates. So as I've been telling you guys, he still has a few lawsuits. Some of them have been cleared, but you know, because he has been winning the cases with Adidas so far, based on what I've checked, Adidas came out and say, you know what, he owns the right to his designs, even though if they wanted to take them, they legally could, but Adidas cannot because Ye's legal representation 
is not like what he had before. He now has an ironclad legal team and he has a few people that helps him to oversee his legal team. I'm not going to say who those people are. Now, another thing that I want to share with you guys as well is Ye is going to become extremely discreet in his life, his personal affairs, and his business, his businesses going forward. A lot of business that Ye is about to venture in will be kept a secret. We're going to hear a lot of allegations, but many of those are not going to be true. And for the ones that will be factual, they will be half true, right? And this is not because Ye is moving with the um, mafia family. Well, actually it is. They're teaching him how to become um, invisible because it is needed for his own safety, his own protection, because people are still trying to get money from him as Ice Cube has told us, and as you have just heard. So he has to become more discreet for his own financial protection and security. And he's cleaning house. Well, Bianca is cleaning house. So because of that, you know, people can react anyway whenever you're cleaning house and you're getting rid of all the bad weeds. Many people are going to throw him under the bus. We're going to be surprised at some of the people who throws him under the bus. And that is because they have taken from him what they haven't been authorized to take. And they will be brought in front of the court to return it. So as time passes, we're going to hear more about him having court cases but it's just that the script is going to be flipped. He's coming back for his money and the people who took from him. But these cases are going to be discreet and it's just not going to be black and white like we've heard a lot of his business before. Okay, so I just want to leave that at that because it is just based on research that I've conducted and being able to read between the lines of a lot of these things, okay? Now, that is all I want to share with you as it relates to that. I know that during the coming week, during this week, we're going to see the media twisting the story, but they are going to do so in a very calculated manner in order to avoid any legal wranglings that's what they're gonna do and that's all i have to say about that let me know your thoughts and see you all later bye guys